Early signs of colon cancer and prevention. One kind of cancer that starts in the large intestine is colon cancer. The colon is the last section of the digestive system. Although it may occur at any age, colon cancer mainly affects older persons. On the interior of the colon, it often starts as tiny polyps, clumps of cells that aren't malignant, benign. Some of these polyps may develop into colon cancer in the future. Small polyps could not even cause any symptoms. In order to detect and remove polyps before they develop into cancer, physicians advise routine screening tests to help prevent colon cancer. There are various therapies available to help manage colon cancer if it does occur, including surgery, radiation therapy, and pharmacological treatments including chemotherapy, targeted therapy, and immunotherapy. Colorectal cancer, a word that combines colon cancer with rectal cancer, which starts in the rectum, is another name for colon cancer. Symptoms of colon cancer. Consistent changes in bowel habits, such as diarrhea, constipation, or a change in stool consistency, as well as rectal bleeding and blood in the stool are all indications of colon cancer. Other symptoms include persistent abdominal pain, cramps, gas, or a feeling that your bowels aren't emptying completely, weakness, and unexplained weight loss. In the early stages of the illness, many patients with colon cancer have no symptoms. Depending on the size and location of the cancer in your large intestine, different symptoms may present at different times. When to see the doctor? Consult your doctor if you have any symptoms that persist and cause you concern. Prevention. Who need colon cancer screening? Doctors advise patients with a typical risk of colon cancer to think about being screened around age 45. However, individuals who are at higher risk, such those who have a family history of colon cancer, should think about screening earlier. There are several screening options, each having advantages and disadvantages. You and your doctor may determine which tests are right for you after discussing your choices. How to lower your risk of colon cancer with lifestyle modifications. By adopting adjustments to your daily routine, you may minimize your chance of developing colon cancer. Consume a range of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Fruits, vegetables, and whole grains are packed with vitamins, minerals, fiber, and antioxidants that may help prevent cancer. To ensure that you are getting a range of vitamins and minerals, choose a selection of fruits and vegetables. Quit smoking. Discuss quitting options with your doctor to see whether they are right for you. Try to get in at least 30 minutes of exercise daily. Start out gently and work your way up to 30 minutes if you haven't exercised recently. Before beginning any workout regimen, see your doctor as well. Keep a healthy weight. If you are a healthy weight, make an effort to keep it off by including a nutritious diet and regular exercise. Ask your doctor for advice on healthy methods to reduce weight if you need to increase your workout routine and cut down on your calorie intake in order to lose weight gradually. High-risk individuals should be protected against colon cancer. There are certain drugs that have been demonstrated to lower the risk of colon cancer or precancerous polyps. For instance, some research suggests that frequent use of aspirin or aspirin-like medications lowers the risk of colon cancer and polyps. To lower the risk of colon cancer, however, it is unclear what dosage and how long would be required. Daily aspirin use has various dangers, such as stomach bleeding and ulcers. These alternatives are often only available to those who have a high risk of colon cancer. For those with a typical risk of colon cancer, there isn't enough data to suggest these drugs. Consult your doctor about your risk factors if you have a higher than average chance of developing colon cancer to find out whether taking preventative medicine is safe for you. Please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to watch more informative videos like this.